Hello, LCA faculty and staff, um, or whoever I'm presenting to, I'm not really sure. Uh, my name is Casey Legron. Um, I am a teacher. Uh, I've been teaching middle school for the last three years. Um, it's just something I'm very passionate about. Uh, I definitely think middle school is a calling, and it's not necessarily for everyone, but it definitely happens to be something that, that I'm just very in love with. I, I just love the age group and um, being able to work with middle schoolers uh, just brings definitely a lot of joy to my life. Um, so right now we are currently in Louisiana. I wish I was there to be able to do this in person, but um, hopefully this video will get to you and you can maybe kind of get an understanding of what um, a typical day in my classroom would be like. Uh, obviously it's not going to be exactly how my classroom would be because I don't really have any students here. Um, you know, in if you were to walk into my classroom, you would definitely find me possibly walking around, uh, helping students and um, engaging them and interacting with them. And obviously, I'm going to kind of miss that element in this interview. But anyway, hopefully, you'll just kind of get a, a better understanding of who I am um, and uh, how I teach. So um, I actually did find a student. Uh, I've managed to persuade my eight-year-old daughter uh, with ice cream later this afternoon uh, to sit in to my left, <laughs> sit in and listen to mommy teach. So she is right here with me. Um, Hannah is going into the fourth grade this coming up year. Uh, so my lesson is not exactly how it would be presented to a group of middle schoolers. Um, I, did, I am going to kind of bring it down a notch uh, because she's not quite at that level, but she's a very smart young lady, and I know that she will do fine, and she'll catch on. She might have a few questions, and might, I might have to stop several times to kind of um, help her along, but I, I think that she's going to do great. So, Hannah, you want to stand up? Okay. All right, say hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sit back down. <laughs> okay, she is prone to giggles, so hopefully uh, she won't be giggling too much. Um, okay, so Hannah, today we are going to learn about value. Do you know what the word value means? Not really. Not really? Okay, so uh, value is a word that people use to... Um, it actually has several different ways that it can be used. One way is somebody can use it to describe something that's important to them. Um, this marker, for example, would mommy say that this is a valuable marker to me? No. No, probably not right. If something were to happen to it, if I were to lose it, or um, if somebody were to uh, throw it away or to steal it, would mommy get very upset about it? No. Probably not. I, might not even notice it's missing, huh? Mm -hmm. It's not very valuable. Um, and because it's not a very valuable marker, uh, people at the store, when they go to buy these, they don't pay a whole lot of money for it because it has very little value. Uh, you, for example, are you very valuable to me? Mm -hmm. Very, right? Um, who else are you valuable to? Granny, Grandpa, Grandma, C, um, Mom, and Papa, and Dad. Okay, and your brothers, <laughs> yes. right? Okay, so you are very valuable. Um, who are some people that are valuable to you? You, Daddy, Abram and Luke, um, Mama and Papa, Granny, Grandma C, um, Grandpa, and um, mm, other people that I know. Okay. That's very good. It is definitely more important to value people than to value things, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, do you know that value can is a word that can be used to talk about things that we value, like people. Um, sometimes we will place value on things, like mommy's wedding ring and things like that are very valuable to me. Uh, but do you know that you can also use the word value when you're talking about art? You can use it if, um, let's say for example, somebody, an artist, paints a very beautiful painting and they want to sell it to somebody. 
Well, they need to think, okay, how much value is this painting going to have? Do I, uh, is it going to be very valuable to somebody or is it not going to be very valuable to somebody? And that is how the artist would determine the price of the painting. You can also use the word value to describe one of the seven characteristics of art. And that is um, that value deals with the lightness or darkness of color. Do you think that color is, um, color, if you're talking about artwork, paintings, or um, really drawings, or any kind of thing like that, do you think that color is going to be something very important? Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably, right? Because if you don't have color, then how are you going to really be able to see the artwork? I don't know. Yeah, it is something that's very important. Um, so, today what we are going to do is we're going to do a, a very quick activity. Um, I'm going to try and show you how to find the value um, in artwork. Uh, okay, so we went over the definition. Um, let me show you, I've got this example. Let me try and see if it'll show up on the screen. Not really. Okay. Um, it is actually a, a picture of an apple. Um, this is the colored version or the painted version. Uh, and it really, it's just a very, um, a good example of how to see color in a colored picture. So, Hannah, can you actually see the value of this picture? If I were to tell you to point to the color red, are there several different shades or tints of the color red? Do you see some areas where it's really kind of dark and then some areas where it's really bright? Some areas almost look white, right? Yeah. Right there. Um, and some areas almost look black, right? Mm -hmm. So that is called the value. Look at it, and this is a black and white. Again, I don't really think that you can see. Um, okay, but this is a black and white picture or painting of the same exact apple. Now that it's in a grayscale, can you see kind of the areas where it's really dark and the areas where it's really light? Mm -hmm. Some areas really look white, don't they? And then other areas, yes. And then other areas almost look really black, huh? Okay. Well, there is something that is called a value scale. And I, really, I don't think you can see it. Um, but if you were to look right here on, let me see, right here, there's actually a value scale. Um, and then on the actual image of the apple, they have taken that value scale and they have found the different um, values of gray in this in this painting. I wish that it would show up, but it's just doesn't look like it will. Okay, so do you see right here along the edge there is a value scale? Mm -hmm. And it's got numbers, doesn't it? What do you think one represents or means? White. White, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think number eight represents? Black. Black. Okay, so number five, is that kind of like in the middle? Mm -hmm. It's not really black and it's not really white, right? It's mm -hmm. right in the middle of both of them. Do you see how now this apple that they have actually kind of, uh, they've just pulled the different values out of so that you can really see how the shading, yeah. shading makes it look round? Okay. Um, today what you are going to work on is, let me make sure I've got this. Okay. Today what you are going to work on is you are going to make one of those scales. The scale that went down the side of the page and it mm -hmm. started off really, really light and then it went really, really dark. You're going to make one of those for me. It's mm -hmm. called a value scale. Can you say value scale? Value scale. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and move this to where maybe you can see what she's doing. 
I think my apartment is clean. I hope so. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit down on the other side of her, and hopefully that will work. All right. So what we are going to do is um, first let's show them. I think the lighting is... I'm sorry, this is <laughs> difficult. Okay, uh, you've got her materials are, she's actually going to be using acrylic paints, so she's got a paintbrush. Um, she's got black paint, white paint, uh, this way, okay, white paint, and um, she's got a pencil because I'm actually going to ask her to use a ruler, and she's going to actually have to draw out the um, parallel lines and then go through and mark in one inch increments a scale um, and then she's going to use her paintbrush to fill in the different values of her colors okay so this is your I'm gonna let you put your paint right here and I want you to take this and what you're gonna do is you need to take your ruler and I want you to place it along the very edge. Right here? Yes, right along the very edge. Okay, and now what I want you to do is I want you to just hold it steady. Hold on, let me move this up a little bit. Hold it steady and then just draw a line. Excellent. Now what I want you to do is take the ruler and move it onto the other side of the line. Remember how we talked about parallel lines? Mm -hmm. They go in the same direction? Mm -hmm. You're going to make two parallel lines. So, very good. You're going to put that just like that. Okay, hold it still and then draw. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this right at the top. You see how that number is right at the very top mm -hmm. of that? Now I want you to start at this number right there and just draw like a little mark. Make a little mark right there. Right here? Mm -hmm. Very good. Now go down to the next inch. Very good. Next inch. This one? Yep. This one? Mm hmm Okay, and I think that's it. Yeah, okay. Now what we're going to do is we are going to do that same thing right here on this one. Okay, same thing. Right here? Mm hmm One, two... Excellent. Now, watch what you're going to do. You're going to take this, and you see how you can use your ruler to um, go right under both of those little marks, and then you're going to draw your pencil, and you're going to draw lines straight across. Try and make it as straight as you can. Yeah. Excellent. Make sure the ruler touches both of your marks. Very good. So let's show them. Let's see if they can see what you have. So this is the beginning of Hannah's value scale. Um, she has taken her ruler and she has drawn the two lines and then she measured out the inches and drew the um, other lines across. And now she's going to fill these in with different values. Okay. Um, what we're going to start with is this one, let me see that pencil. 
This is actually not a square that we're going to use because it's right close to the edge. Let me make sure this is going properly. Okay, let's see. All right, so you're not going to use this, Hannah, but mm -hmm. you are going to use these, all these other ones. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put this right here. You can just use one of these plates. And I want you to take your white first and just squirt a little bit right there. Right. Just uh, maybe right here. Probably a little bit more. Okay, perfect. All right, now take your black. Same thing, but let's do it over here. Now what I want you to do is remember when we taught when I showed you that scale mm -hmm. and number one was what color? White. White. So do you want to put number one at the bottom or you want to put it at the top? Bottom. Bottom, just like the scale was. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and paint your first block that color. You can paint it white. Try and stay in the lines as best you can. Get it across there too. Yep, and across the bottom. Okay, very good. All right, now the other, the number eight was what color? Um, Here, try black. It off. Black. Okay, draw off the brush. All right, so this is going to be our number eight block. Let me, hold on, let me get this. It looks like it's going off. Okay. Go ahead. This one? Mm hmm Excellent. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to use a little bit of both colors. We're going to try and... Make it gray? Yeah, we're going to make it gray. But what we're going to do is we're going to work on trying to make this middle block. Let me show everybody what you've done so far. So if you can see right here, I'm just doing a five value scale with her. Uh, the bottom is just basically plain white. The top is going to be black, um, just a solid black. Next, I'm going to show her how to find the middle value. Uh, and basically that's just going to be half black, half white. Uh, going to be right in the middle, and then from there we'll fill in the other, the other two squares. Okay, okay. so why don't you get? Uh, let's see. Just go ahead. Try and try and get a little bit of white and put right here, and then the same amount of black. No, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. Now that same amount of black. Okay, mix it up. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I think you need some more white. Let me see. Can I see real fast? Um, yeah, I think that'll work. Middle? The very middle one. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this color and let's use just this little section right here and you're going to just try and make it one shade darker okay. and then you're going to use this white on this side to make it um, a little bit lighter, okay. a shade lighter. Not too much black. Not much? Mix it up. Dark. 
maybe I still see. Okay, let me see. What do you think? Is that, is that, do you think that's in the middle of that color? These two colors? Mm -hmm. Okay, then you can go ahead. What, what square would you put that in? Right here. Why? Because it's dark, a darker shade than um, that gray. <clears throat> then which gray? This one? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Okay, um, now what we're going to do is let's try and lighten some up for your last color. Like mm -hmm. No, put a little bit more white. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. A <laughs> <laughs> little bit more. Okay, what do you think? Good. Do you think it's... I think maybe it needs to be a little bit lighter. Okay. And you know what I think you're doing? Yeah. I think you're moving your brush in the darker color. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Now start right there. Okay. What do you think? It's good. Okay. Where does that one go? Right there. Okay, why? Because it's right in the middle of white and gray. Okay, go ahead. Try and do very clean strokes. Yeah. Okay. Are you happy with it? Mm-hmm. All right. Put, you can put your paintbrush right here. Okay, let me see. Okay, so Hannah, hand me your your thing, please. Okay, so this is um, actually what Hannah ended up creating. You, it is not showing up too well on this, but um, you can see that she tried to do a color scale uh, or a value scale using just black and white and um, shading the different things or the different squares. Okay, so Hannah, can you tell me what does the word value mean in art? Um, it means, um, Lightness or the darkness of a color. Okay, so it's referring to or it's talking about the lightness or darkness of what? A color. A color. Very good. So if you were to look at this picture again, if you were to look at this picture again, and I said, show me some of the red values. What would you say? What would you do? That's the lightest. That's the um, middlest mm -hmm. color. And then that one's the darkest color. Okay, what? This section right here? Mm-hmm. Okay, very good. So you found the light value, the mm -hmm. middle value, and the darkest value. Mm -hmm. Excellent work. Okay. Um, I believe this is... Uh, close to 30 minutes. Um, it's not exactly what I was hoping. I, I wanted to go a little bit longer, but um, I just didn't know how much she was going to be able to do with the, the painting and everything. Um, I didn't want to get too in-depth. Uh, but anyway, I, I hope that you, you know, hopefully saw me in action. Um, 
And again, it, it definitely would be different in a classroom setting, uh, but I definitely appreciate the opportunity to be able to um, introduce myself to you and uh, hopefully um, I'll be able to meet some of you in person when we move in July. Thank you.